Sup guys, Cut Protagonist here. Today I'll be doing a deck profile on my Platinum Ezer deck. This deck used by Aichi Sando at the end of Season 2 to def to in order to defeat the almighty Arcoforce Glory Maelstrom. So let's get on to the deck profile. So the first great trees to play is 4 Platinum Ezer. Basically he's the cross right of Ezo. His first ability is Limit Break 5 as it's called Ultimate Break. Um, you have to counter blast 3. For this, um, this ability, the whole field gains 5,000 power. So, for example, this is your Vanguard. Let's see if an Ezo. One sec. Let's say your field looks like this. So, basically, every card on the field gains 5k power. 5k, 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 5k. Excluding himself. Yeah, excludes himself. So, yeah. So, for people who want to easily count... How do you count for this skill? It's pretty easy. Basically, let's say this this column is normally 10k guard. You just add another 10k, so it's now 20k guard. For this column, it's normally 15k guard. Another 5k, 20k guard. Normally 10k, 20, another 20k guard. Total 60k at the cost of counter blast 3. That is freaking amazing because it's, it's so called a final turn move. Yeah, so basically that's it. That's... Platina unite united thing. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, three platinum isos. And the second ability is whenever you have a incandescent lion blonde ezo in the soul, he gains additional 2k. He's the cross right of blonde ezo, if you can tell. Well actually I can't really tell because the drew is looks pretty short. <laughs> yeah. But he's a cross right basically. So yeah, gotta play four. Very good card. So let's go on. Next one is of course the younger version, his his L form. And this is one of my very very favorite cards because this card is really very good. Because all right, let me explain the skill. Um, ability is counter blast two. Um, let me break counter blast two, and look at the top card of the deck. If it's a gold paladin, superior coin onto the field, and blunt is out against the power equals to the superior core card's power. So for example, let's say you top deck. Alright, I superior called um elegant skills build mains. This elegant skills no this got Yeah it's elegant skills. So if you superior card you gain additional 10k attack power which is freaking huge. So from here you gain a 10k boost become 20k at the cost of counter blast 2 and you get a free unit, that's the coolest thing. So yeah, and second ability is what makes up gold paladin for each unit on the field during your turn, for each unit on the field, this unit gains plus 1k power. So, when you use him, make sure you have a full field so that you get the additional 5k boost. 5k boost breaks another magic number, which is amazing. This card is also very good to fight against cost rights because put a 8k booster and above behind him and he re easily hits beat down the cost right format because he's um, 18k, 23k, yeah, 23k magic number against cost rights. And so, right, let's get on great tools. For Knight of Divine Skills Bumains, our 10k vanilla. Four of our Burning Horn Dragons. When you con whenever you control an Izel monster, <laughs> Izel uh, Vanguard, which is these two, he gains additional 3k. It's a Burning Horn of our deck, so yeah. Play 4. And of course, there's damage on flippers because damage on flippers are pretty good. Because this deck is really con blast heavy, so gotta use them. And she also gives pressure late game. Because, well, let's say you have two. Co let's say if this attack hits, you get to use another counter blast one more time, which is like you can use Izel skill three times, plus three. So, yeah, a flipper because of this deck is a counter blast heavy deck. You can use other stuff, personal preference. Alright, great ones. For 8k vanillas, well, because 8k vanillas is good. For perfect guards, Halo Mark Shoe. I prefer using the old Halo Mark in the blonde nizzle deck because it makes you feel more season 2. Well, although I could actually use a Liberator Perfect Guards, but yeah. For Sligo Daggers, Sligo Daggers are an amazing card because let's say you control this. Because this format is like 11k Vanguards. Sligo Dagger behind our Burning Horn Dragon. 
So all you need to do is counter. Okay, his uh, Sligo Dagger's ability is whenever you control four or more um, gold pattern units, you can counter blast one to gain additional 2k, making a 9k booster. So 9k um, behind a 12k is 21k. 21k hits magic numbers against cost rights. So, <coughs> yeah, 15k guard against this column. So it's great. And one tech advancing chain steel chains kaidan. His ability is um, when this whenever this unit boosts and hits. For example, he hits. Uh, he boosts this. He boosts build uh, back damers. Whenever he boosts big limit and the attack hits, he can counter blast one. Look at the top deck of the deck and superior call one gold paladin unit at rest. This is just man. I just use him as pressure type. Early game he gives pressure. Late game not really, but yeah, I love his art and it's a free unit, so why not? It's like a basically he's a Vivian just that the unit is at rest. So this card's pretty good. And finally, one silver fangwitch. Um, whenever this card is placed on the red card, you get to Soul Blast and draw on free card. So yeah, since the Soul is pretty much useless in the deck, you could actually use her. Let's play one. Trigger lineup. We got 8 crits for sure. 4 Flame of Victory and 4 Strike Girl. 4 Speeder Hounds. Draw triggers. And 4 of the oh and ugly heal triggers. I like to use Season 2. And of course, one uh, Dreaming Sage Charon. Mm, wait, one sec. Okay, his ability is basically... He's just like our normal fight, Little Fighter Cron, but he's very, very good because... Um, you can counter... He's a 5k. The, the thing is, he's a 5k. Little Fighter Cron is a 4k. 5k is a magic number, and this is why he's much better. And his ability is... You can counter... Yeah, one sec. Pioneer, of course, right, move anywhere else. And ability is counter blast one, put in so. Look at top 5 card for an easel card. So, yeah, pretty much all these, these are all easels. So, basically saying you can just, you could just consider it as look at top <coughs> top 5 cards of the deck for a grade 3 or, high, or higher because, well, the easel is all grade 3s. So, yeah, it's pretty good. So, I hope you guys enjoy my deck profile on my Platina easel deck. Please add me on Facebook and comment on. And subscribe to my channel for more awesome Vanguard's opening and deck profiles. So, peace out. Love you guys.